page 62, chapter 9, Waltzes. Let me begin by going down just below the second paragraph on this page to where it says, To prime you up for this waltz chapter, let's all chant together. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Well done. You just chanted four measures in waltz time, three-quarter time. Notice that the ones are in a larger font size to help you see and hear how the natural accent of a waltz is on the first beat of each measure. In bluegrass rhythm, or backup playing, 4-4, four, four, four-quarter time, is often described in a rhythmic solfeggio chant as boom chick, boom chick, one, two, three, four, boom chick, boom chick, etc. And you do this once around for each measure of four beats. That is to say again, boom chick, boom chick. On your banjo, the boom is the thumb picking a note. The chick is the two available fingers plucking the second and first strings simultaneously. So it's boom chick, 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 etc. That's four quarter time. Next paragraph. On the other hand, the typical backup chant for three quarter waltz time is boom chick chick, boom chick chick, one, two, three. Boom, chick, chick, etc. Once around for each measure. This concept can be brought home for you by playing through the accompaniment to Home on the Range, found in Volume 1 on page 53. But just for our own sake, let me do a few rounds of waltz rhythm. So the boom is generally starting with your third string. The chick twice is the pluck of the second and first strings. Chick, chick. So let me set that up. Boom, chick, chick. 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 If you want to get a little fancy with it, every other measure you can alternate the boom or the pecking hand thumb. In other words, boom, chick, chick, boom, chick, chick, thumb on third, chick, chick, thumb on fourth, chick, chick, boom, chick, chick, boom, chick, chick, boom, chick, chick, boom, chick, chick. Getting what is known as an alternating bass line with your thumb. Okay, so now we'll skip down to the three-quarter time exercise at the bottom of page 62. I'll play it twice through. It's a chord progression in the key of C in this case, a C and a F and a G. Prepare your C chord. One, two, three, ready, play. 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 One